Get weather alerts anywhere with my AccuRite. Simplify the experience with a direct Wi-Fi signal to allow for remote monitoring, no hub needed. Enhanced Wi-Fi connectivity to Weather Underground. Easily connect to Weather Underground to share your weather data with more than 250,000 personal weather stations across the globe. High definition display with battery backup. Allows for easy and clear readability from any angle, plus it saves all of your data in case of a power outage. Forecasting technology. Provides a hyperlocal, personalized weather forecast 12 hours from your current conditions. Lightning detection. Be prepared for potential thunderstorm activity with lightning strikes detected up to 25 miles away. Real-time weather conditions, indoor and outdoor temperature, humidity, wind speed, direction, UV, light intensity, barometric pressure trends, and rain totals. Company based in Lake Geneva, Y, USA, since 1943. Top reviews from the United States. Great connectivity and separable anemometer. I replaced my previous Accurite 5-in-1 with the Atlas and have been very happy with it, includes the solar intensity and lightning options. My unit is mounted on my third floor porch which faces the Collingwood Harbor on Georgian Bay, Lake Huron, about 30 high. I purchased the optional unit for the anemometer and then attached that to a one pipe facing north. I then mounted the main unit to another one pipe facing south, see photo. This allows me to get the best wind reading as well as temperature, solar intensity and rainfall. The fact that the main unit has solar panels that face three directions, ensures I always get an accurate temperature reading. My townhouse is on the south side of the third floor porch so it blocks the sun for a few hour per day. The one pipe mounting system is further strengthened with one square steel connectors. I wanted the assembly to look appropriate in the shipyards where I live. For 100 years, 1885 to 1985, ships were built here in a side launch facility. The unit captures the very strong winds that blow down Georgian Bay from the northwest. I tried a number of configurations for the system before I settled on the current one. I found that very long sections of one pipe, resulted in too much swaying during heavy winds. I believe that will impact the accuracy of the wind speeds and possibly damage the anemometer over time. The current sections of pipe I use are 1-8 piece followed by 2-12 sections connected by 90 degree pipe connectors. This gets the anemometer further out into the open air, 